Lori has had a lifelong fear of what she said has made her life miserable. What is your fear? I have a very, very bad phobia of loud, sudden noises. Where did it come from? Uh, I was in a gas explosion when I was around two years old, which I don't remember the explosion. But what kind of noises do what to you? Very loud, sudden noises, like a balloon breaking, uh, even a cork popping Give off me the some examples from your life. Uh, fireworks. Uh, thunder is the worst. We moved to Florida recently, oh, and thunder. it's just totally destroyed my life. So what do you do with this fear? I, I mean, when I it, go in the house. When you hear a crack of thunder, what do you do? I just, I, I stay in my house. I put earplugs in. I got a headphone. I have a special room I have to go in. I won't go outside if I know there's going to be. Suppose you're at a restaurant with a group of friends and a car backfires. Oh, what would you do? I've, I've left restaurants, Sally. You run out I of the restaurant. I have literally run out of a restaurant in the middle of dinner. My goodness very slowly. Now That's this true. is clinical hypnotist Tom Silver. Tom yeah. Silver works with clinical people. He also works I guess on television. He's the author of a how-to book on hypnotism. How does hypnosis help someone who has a fear or a phobia? Well hypnosis can help you by helping you to relieve the anxiety or the emotion that's actually in the inner part of our mind, the inner core of our brain. You know, um, when a negative experience happens, that emotion can actually become recorded into our subconscious, and our, our subconscious identifies with our conscious thoughts. Therefore, even if she thinks of a balloon blowing up, the anxiety will come out almost as strongly, if not as strong, as if, if she the just thinks popped. about it. Right. So, thinking about it is the same as hearing the balloon pop. Right. Okay, you are willing to let Tom hypnotize you, right? Yes. Okay, we are going to see. I, I don't know how we can do this this quickly. Well, can yeah, hypnotherapy within... sessions to remove trauma or emotion. Actually, it's a, a number of sessions usually to, to uh, neutralize that emotion, to replace with that a emotion. Um, actually, we do something similar called systematic desensitization, mm -hmm. where we have the patient imagine the various situations low anxiety, higher anxiety, and then full-blown anxiety while you're in a deep state of relaxation. And hypnosis is one of the ways of helping people to relax. Okay, we are going to meet a woman who now, is Now, I know of a couple of people who are even afraid of flying. Now, what happens and how do you conquer that fear? And later, we're going to find out if our hypnotist, Tom Silver, in any way helped the first two guests overcome their fears. We'll find out. All the way up into the air and now three and as that hand is in the air now that's the old fear you're letting go of of sounds of noises and when i touch the hand you will release that negative useless old emotion out of your life Sink or swim. That's why they call it flooding. All right, so we got that. We're going to now the uh, hypnotism. Uh, Tom, what did you do to these women? Oh, I did a process that we do as hypnotherapists called circle therapy. In other words, I, under hypnotism, will bring up the feeling, the fear, and the anxiety into the subconscious mind. But I don't bring it up at a little bit at a time. I'll bring it to the fullest extent of it, to the 100% mark. And then I'll release it out of the subconscious. I tie it into a physical movement in the body that we call an idiomotor response, which is tying in a subconscious suggestion into a physical movement. Okay. So then once I remove 50% um, of the anxiety, I'm able to monitor the emotion by not letting the client feel it in their mind, but monitoring it, moving it into their body. And then I reduce it to 50% of the anxiety. And after that, I monitor by judging how high the hand moves up uh, that it's being effective. This only can occur in the very deeper stages of hypnotism. The scientific term would be delta or what we call sonambulism. So they really have to be able to they be They have hypnotized. to be receptive to show demonstrations so quickly. I personally believe as a clinical hypnotherapist, just like the psychotherapists and medical doctors, that these procedures need to be reinforced that you just don't do it one time, but you reinforce the emotion, replacing the negative emotion with a new positive thought and feeling. All right, let's get to what you did to Lori. Okay, I uh, had hypnotized her to remove the fear of sounds out of her subconscious mind. And by doing that, 90% of the emotion is gonna be gone. The conscious mind might still wanna create if they don't let the process work. 
But again, Sally, it needs to be reinforced, so I'm going to actually recommend some local therapists to work with the client. Okay, that's very but, good. But uh, I saw tremendous success in both of these gals. They were very receptive to let it go, and we have been able to replace that anxiety with a new positive feeling now, of comfort. Can calmness. everybody be hypnotized? Everybody goes into hypnotism. Not everyone goes into deep hypnotism. But folks. everyone goes yeah, into Yeah, the first hypnotism. time you're hypnotized, maybe 10 or 15% of the population are hypnotized. But when you watch movies, you're hypnotized. Driving in your car and daydreaming, you're hypnotized. Right, right. Okay. Oh! No. <laughs> but how'd that feel in reaction to the first time you experienced it? Better. Better? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Absolutely. Much better. Yeah, feel my hands. <laughs> Much better. Yeah. I, so, would have, I wouldn't have stayed here before. She would not have stayed here before this before one. Before she would have run yes. out of the studio. Thank heavens you did.